John Quelch, why is all business local? Isn't it a global economy now? It is a global economy, but the world is not nearly as flat as it's been made out to be. And when you look at the billions of transactions that are made every day, 90 plus percent of them involve local buyers exchanging products and services with local sellers. In the book, you give McDonald's as an example of a company which really does local well. Can you expand on that? Uh, McDonald's is a great global brand, but they source from local suppliers in all the markets that they operate in. They partner with local business people as franchisees. They adapt their menus and store formats to the local consumer preferences. They uh, recruit uh, local pop stars and local sports uh, icons to uh, tout the brand in each country market. So, as we say in the book, all great local brands are also great local brands as well. McDonald's also has a lot of money to do that. Isn't it very expensive to be all things to all people wherever it is in the world? You can't be all things to all people these days. The competition is too intense. You've got to know who your customer is and focus clearly on that customer. In some cases, there may be customer needs that span international boundaries, so you can have the same proposition globally. But even in those cases, chances are you have to customize, you have to tailor it to each local market if you really want to penetrate the individual country. In the book, you talk a lot about how McDonald's did things right in China. What does it take to market yourself in China? Because that's a world all its own. 1.3 billion people. It's a continental economy as big as the United States. You cannot have a single marketing plan. You have to understand that the critical success factor in China is not brand, it's distribution. It's how are you going to get your product or service distributed in this continental economy with such a fragmented distribution scenario as currently exists. So if McDonald's is a company to emulate when it, uh, you talk about going local, is there a uh, is there a company in history that just did it all wrong? Is this is there a case study in how not to do it? Well, I, I don't want to pick on any companies in particular, but if you take China for example, we've seen Best Buy uh, trip up badly in China. We've seen Home Depot trip up badly in China, and and really the fundamental reason is that they didn't study the market long and hard enough to uh, figure out what adaptations to make in order to make the core proposition saleable to uh, the Chinese. 